so with our bad ice storm and cold temperatures I closely watched all my palms um, Tachycarpus got weighed down um, they seem to have come back pretty good the fronds are not really that tattered but the star of the show is this sable and I believe this to be sable brazoria which is a hybrid of uh, sable minor and uh, sable palmetto this thing looked exactly like this during the ice storm hardly anything on it um, it just did fantastic no discoloration no signs of damage nothing and uh, it's even opening up a frond and there's the uh, spent flower stock that I haven't had the warmest summers lately so it flowers really late and it just I don't seem to get a seed set I'll kind of show you it's got a little bit of a trunk starting to form you can see it there but very very um, thick very thick uh, like vinyl it feels like vinyl it doesn't even feel like a real plant. Very thick fronds, very wind resistant. You can see that kind of how it's splitting down the middle. Let's see if I can get my foot in there so you can kind of see how big the trunk actually is, or how wide it is. So, pretty, pretty decent size. Very green. I have a sable miner. It looks a little more blue on my screen, so I'm not sure how that translates, but uh, I would not say that this palm has a bluish tinge. I would say it's much, much more green. Whereas I do have a pure sable miner. And it is much more blue. And you can see here, the, how the frond is very deeply split down the middle costa pomate I guess is the term whereas the big sable doesn't show that the the middle part of the uh, the frond actually um, you know kind of comes forward so and this one did well too, but it had over prote overhead protection. But I do have some sable miners out front, small ones that were encased in ice um, for a number of days and they look flawless too. And they have that really kind of nice blue sheen like this one. Thanks for watching.